Hello YouTube, wanted to do a review today on the StarTech USB 2004 EXTV 4 port USB 2.0 extender. Boy, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Anyway, we got four ports here, and uh, the object is uh, to run USB, you know, more than 50 foot. Now, I have had in the past, I've been using uh, the Blue Rigger USB 2.0 that there and that all together that's two of them now that's the with the repeater um, and uh, they're 32 feet so there's two of those and uh, they both connect with these little repeaters and I think you can run them even further but I've been having some problems with uh, delay and actually just losing because I'm trying to run a um, move over here to the scope things are a little crowded in here until I can get out to my observatory pier that I currently building but uh, I am currently running a filter wheel if I can get this photo so I've got a filter wheel a five position filter wheel a focuser and then this camera and I've been running it all by USB you know putting it all down to uh, a four port um, extender and then hooking that up to the Blue Rigger cable so I'm going to give a demonstration on how that works and then I'm going to also then hook up this uh, new device. Now this runs, um, operates off Cat5 wire. Actually, I got a Cat6, but uh, there's 75 foot of Cat5 wire, wire uh, Cat6 wire actually. And um, I'm going to demonstrate uh, just how stable this is. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let me give you a little demonstration now on how this uh, acts with two of the 32 foot uh, USB extenders put together for a total of 64 foot. So here we have the uh, software for the focuser and then for the Nautilus 7 position filter wheel. So um, as you can see I can uh, go forward and get a little closer in here and it's advancing no problem for the focuser. I can go back and then I can also use now the filter wheel and as you can see the little bar there extends. It's, I can hear it spinning in the background. Right. So now when I go back now to the focuser and I go back to zero and then I want to forward it. I get a little message that comes up that says not connected. So it knocks the uh, focuser offline. Um, the filter wheel will work. Now if I plug in, so forget about the focuser. The focuser is already gone. Now I could bring it back on. Let me shut this down. I'll bring this back on. Focuser back. It says that it's found. Let me move this over to this window so you can see it. So now my focuser is back online. Again, we can forward it. You can see it going just fine. And we'll go back to zero. Works just fine. The minute I use my filter wheel, though. Okay. Now I go back here. And I try to go forward. I get this message. So that's a problem in itself. So now if I connect the camera. And let me do that now. Excuse me here while I... Just connect this camera a little bit here. Get this going here. Well, we can get it in the hole. There we go. All right. So now the camera's connected. Now let's fire the camera up. We'll get that software going here. I'll use a Shark Cap, and we'll bring it on and see if I can get it to work with the focus or with the filter wheel. And I can't even get, I've got a frozen, there we go, now that came up. Let's see if I can get this moved over. I can tell you it's very buggy. Alright, so I do have camera, as you can see, as I move the camera around, it's a little overexposed. But I think you get the picture of what's going on. Now let's see if I can use my filter wheel with it. And then now my filter wheel goes to searching. So you can clearly see that if you use one or the other, you're fine with this blue outrigger, uh, this blue outrigger cable, but at 64 feet. Um, and then the camera's pretty fluid. I mean, it's not not too bad. It runs, runs okay. Uh, but you're going to knock your other two devices offline. So I'll be back in just a minute, and we'll hook up this uh, uh, StarTech uh, instrument and we'll see um, how this works 
Okay, now you can see that I've replaced the um, other four port extender with this uh, device. Let me plug this in. As you can see, we've got a green light currently, and we'll uh, plug this Cat 6 cable in. And now I've got a blue light, so we should be good. And that's all 75 foot of it, believe it or not. And we'll come over here to the other end of it that is hooked into a, uh, I have a powered port, but I've tested it on just straight into the computer. It really doesn't matter as far as that's concerned. So now that we have this hooked up, let's go back to our screen. And it shows my devices are ready to use. So let's power up, first of all, our focuser. We'll drag it over, and now we'll fire up our filter wheel. They all come online much quicker, by the way. So let's try these two out first before, remember it didn't work before when both of them tried to play together. So we've got our filter wire right here it running, and we'll run our, our focuser. And we'll go back to zero, and then we'll use this. And then we'll go back here, and we're running like a champ. No errors, nothing disconnecting on me. Okay? So, we'll do it again. We'll go back here. We'll even run both at the same time. How about that? Run that back to zero. Again, we have no problems. Okay? So now, let's hook up the camera with these two, and let's see if we can get everything to work. Especially if our camera can be uh, uh, not so jumpy and... Uh, just give me a second. I'm trying to do this with just two hands. Uh, we'll go here and my uh, camera lady has taken her day off today. Alright, so I've just hooked up the camera. And uh, let's go ahead and fire up Sharp Cap. And we'll pull it over. Alright, so there's Sharp Cap. And you can see I'm overexposed. Let me pull that exposure down just a little bit. So you can see what we're doing here. All right, so you can see pretty fluid on the camera, not bad at all. It's running good. Now, the real test is while that is, and I'll try to hold this as steady as I can while that's running, can I still run my filter wheel and my other? Well, it looks like the filter wheel is running good, and there's my focuser running good. Go back to zero, and then I run that again whole while my camera looks still fluid ultra block okay that filters running good run back everything's still online everything's running good I still got plenty of fluid camera so my review would be that uh, this StarTech um, device is uh, with the uh, cat 6 cable is absolutely a great uh, tool and necessary for me uh, to run this over 50 foot very fluidly because as you can see my pier is uh, out here I'll step over cables here and I'll show you what we're doing here this is my warm room which is actually the back of my third car garage I made into a small office and once I get the scopes out of there I'll have plenty of more room and then I'm doing a little solar observing today And then all the way out here, I'm going to run run those data cables down in here, buried in some conduit. I've already got a piece that's buried uh, under the ground there, and then it's going to it comes up where all my data cables will come right out here in the center of my pier. And then I'll put a shed over this structure, and then the whole thing will roll back. Uh, so um, just waiting for a few more parts to come in for the uh, slide mechanism and uh, we can get that going so with that being said that certainly solves the issue with uh, extending a USB cable over 50 foot and with three devices one of them being a camera it works flawlessly